The first views of Agios Gordius are from the tour bus um, or from the local bus service. Uh, the main road winds its way down to the village uh, with stunning views of the beach and coastline. This is springtime uh, before the bulk of the tourists have arrived and in fact I arrived some three days before the season had even started. Uh, just one local bus, bus per day into Corfu uh, but at least by accommodation is opposite the bus station. Um, I use the term bus station loosely as it's just one bus shelter and you buy your tickets from the supermarket. This is what the beach looks like in its natural state. Uh, no tourists, out of season, uh, and before the restaurants and beach bars are ready for business. A few days later uh, and the beach had been cleaned of its pebbles and seaweed and the beach sunbeds and umbrellas started to appear. There's plenty of choice of bars and restaurants along the beach all the stunning sea views that you're unlikely to get fed up with looking at. I just love being out here in, uh, in the Greek islands in springtime. Absolutely beautiful, stunning. Right opposite to Irene Apartments is Alex's Supermarket. This is run by two absolutely gorgeous sisters. It's open seven days a week from 8 in the morning till 12 night. Uh, Sophia um, and Lisa, family run business and you'll really enjoy shopping there. They, they'll make you laugh all day long. The pool at uh, Irene Apartments is set in a quiet location. It's surrounded by trees and rocky mountains. Uh, plenty of sunbeds and well-maintained gardens. There's an indoor area next to the pool where you can order breakfast, coffee, uh, or just sit and have a beer. Um, or perhaps even just seek shelter from the midday sun. Uh, it's set well away from the village and it can be very tranquil. An ideal place to read a book uh, whilst the birds come down for a drink. Just beyond the pool uh, and beyond the apartments is the village itself and it's only 20 metres from the village centre. Um, it's only a further 300 metres to the beach past the shops, bars and restaurants. The beach is some one kilometre long and is one of the best on the island.
There are regular evening barbecues organised in the garden. This provides guests with the opportunity to uh, savour some Greek style light snacks. Really enjoyable, I had a wonderful night there. Uh, and of course, fantastic views over the pool. For current reviews of the restaurants featured in this video on Carfo, um, I would suggest you go to TripAdvisor website uh, and search under Adios Gordius, um, the restaurant section. There you'll get the latest reviews right up to date. At the furthest end of the Sandy Beach, as you head away from the village, the scenery changes. Fortunately, I was out for a long walk and brought my walking boots. Useful to negotiate the large boulders and sharp rocks. In 2014, a small merchant boat, uh, allegedly carrying migrants, was grounded on uh, Black Rock Beach. Um, and as you can see, it's still there today. The once a day bus service that comes from the bus station in Agius Gordius brings you here to Carfu Town Bus Station. Just a couple of minutes walk to the ferry terminal and quayside uh, and also to the shops and further tourist attractions. Uh, the bus runs more frequently of course in the high season, I mean right at the beginning of the season. The old town of Corfu has many shops spread over quite a large area. Most of these appear to be of a construction from the 19th and 20th century until you look above the shops and clearly the construction is from a much earlier Venetian period. From the 15th century, Corfu uh, was under Venetian rule for some four centuries, then passing to French, British and Greek governments. Um, the new fortress was built in stages on the hill of St. Mark. The Liston in Corfu, with arcaded terraces and fashionable cafes, was built in 1807 by the French. Um, although the word Liston is of Venetian origin, uh, referring to marble slabs used for paving the streets. The cricket pitch is from the time when the British uh, ruled Corfu. At the far end of the Liston is the Palace of Saints Michael and George and now houses the Museum of Asian Art. The palace was designed in the Regency style by a British architect and primarily consists of white Maltese stone. The old fortress, uh, formerly Byzantine fortifications, is a Venetian fortress. Um, as part of their defensive plans, the Venetians separated the fortress from the rest of Corfu by creating a contrafossa, a moat, which is a sea channel, creating an artificial island. I found the Mon Repos estate uh, whilst walking out of Corfu town towards the airport. When I flew into Corfu earlier I had noticed that the runway was close to the sea and I wanted to see this for myself. I asked someone for directions and I thought he said it was 7 minutes walk 
I must have misheard him as it turned out to be a 7 km walk. Needless to say, I got a taxi back. Um, the villa on the, state, on the estate was built as a summer residence for the British Lord High Commissioner and his second wife Nina, although they had to vacate the villa in 1832 when Adam was sent to serve in India. Several royal births have taken place at the villa, including those of Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, uh, on the 10th of June 1921, and Princess Alexia of Greece and Denmark on the 10th of July 1965. One of the must places to see is the picturesque monastery set on a small island next to Mouse Island. Uh, this must be the most photographed and recognisable place in Corfu. What I hadn't realised until I got here, just down here it is to the airport. It is probably the image that comes to mind when talking about Corfu. It was founded many centuries ago as a women's monastery uh, and the present chapel was built in 1685. The oldest still existing gravestones date from 1758 to 1799 when it was under the rule of the French. I also didn't realise that it was on the flight path to the airport. The Vlachana Monastery is open to the public all year round. Uh, you can pray or simply enjoy its beauty and tranquillity. The runway may seem quite unique being so close to the sea, but on my travels around the Greek islands I have come across quite a few similar and sometimes a little more scary. If you enjoy my travel videos please subscribe, it's free and you will automatically receive a notification in your inbox of any new ones that I create.